Hi, Sheila here. Day five of isolation. I've been doing really well all along with eating healthily, making lovely casseroles and stir fries. But this morning for breakfast, I had a Freddo Easter egg, a bag of salt and vinegar crisps and a pan of chocolat. So there you go. This is what isolation does. If you have children at home, imagine how bored they are. If us adults are already getting a bit like, oh, I'm going crazy. What am I going to do? You've got choices, don't you? You could either write a masterpiece or you could get into this really lazy schedule of watching Netflix all day and uh, chilling, chilling out. So I haven't written any masterpieces so far, but maybe when I stop all the chilling phase, then I'll do a little bit of that uh, inner exploration and I'll pull out all my deep thoughts and put them on to paper. Okay, so I've been having requests from my clients who are mammies and daddies and what should they do to stop them from strangling their children because the kids are winding them up so much, everyone's stuck indoors, everyone getting irate. Kids get bored easily. So the number one thing to do is definitely forget about schedules. Schedules out the window, you know, just kind of go with the flow, have fun with your kids. Get down on the ground is the best place to play with kids. Get down on the ground and talk absolute nonsense ridiculous stuff they love that they love that because kids make no sense they're nonsensical aren't they they love fun and games and using their imagination so that's just a little thing what you could do is you could have a little game of would you rather with them my nephews and nieces love this so i'll give you an example i'll start you off okay so you could say to your kid right we're going to have a game of would you rather and they have to pick one option. They have to pick one option, no matter how gross they are. All right. So you could say, would you rather eat a fly sandwich or lick a crocodile's teeth? And the kids are like, Egh! so you say, they do not want to pick one. So you make them pick one. Uh, that's one of my favorite things to do with kids play. Would you rather? Yeah. Would you rather have f feet for hands or hands for feet? Would you rather you smell like fish and nobody would want to be around you or everybody else smells like fish and you wouldn't want to be around anyone else? You know, you could have great fun with these games. All that aside now, I'm going to show you a little tip to turn down your adrenal glands. Your adrenal glands are your fight or flight. Fight or flight is the, the, the our glands in our body that releases stress hormones, adrenaline, cortisol, noradrenaline, and they... they increased heart rate they tense muscles like this and they make us really irritable our tolerance for idiots goes way down our tempers flare we may find ourselves losing the plot over the smallest little thing so i'm going to show you where to rub to balance your own adrenal points when you start to feel this kind of irritation building in so you're going to find your belly button everybody put your finger in your belly button hole and then you're going to go one inch which is about this length one inch out and two inches up and you're going to rub into that point that's your adrenal point every human being if they're rubbing same on the other side one inch out from belly button two inches up if you're rubbing these points your adrenaline cannot fire off so what's going to happen is as you're rubbing these points you're going to feel maybe a little bit of tenderness that means you're already in a little bit of adrenal stress in the next few hours you're going to feel chilled out calmer more peaceful Things are going to happen with more ease in your life. So that's what the adults are going to do. They're going to rub their own adrenal points. If you see your kid going bananas around the place having a meltdown, you can also rub their little points. It'll be like a half inch out and maybe an inch and a half up on kids. You're going to give a little rub into those points to calm them down, to stop them going into meltdown. Um, I'll send in another video later, maybe with some more would you rather options for your kids. So you should ask your kids straight away, those two would you rather's and see what happens see their answers there's loads of things you can do with kids you know there's loads of fun games to play uh exciting stories to tell uh like remember in the old days like when we were kids there was no internet there was only two channels on the tv so what did we do you know we drew pictures we sent secret notes under the doors to each other we played with our imagination you know having a little a little disco or something with barbie and ken and barbie's friend and everyone just kind of having this stupid conversations and ridiculousness so to get in the mind of a kid you need to pull back all of your own 
adult crap that you've gathered on all the years and you need to go back into that place in your heart where you're just a little kid and you love rolling down hills and you love eating ice cream for breakfast and you love telling silly jokes and and cracking yourself up over something you taught in your head uh thanks very much for watching chat tomorrow bye